What's up guys, it's Will here, back again, and today we're in bright and sunny Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and we're gonna introduce some strangers to the Hot Toys Batman and the NR Batman, both 1-6 scale figures. We're gonna get their thoughts, see what they think, and just see how non-collectors feel about these two figures. Guys, before we get started, make sure to click that like button down below, click the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you are notified when content goes live on the channel. That said, let's talk some Batman with some strangers. <laughs> Hot Toys and In Art Collectibles each released a 1-6 scale Robert Pattinson Batman figure in 2024. These companies are the top competitors in 1-6 scale collecting, and while each company's offering is slightly different, both are awesome in their own ways. The In Art Collectibles Batman figure retailed for about $480 for the premium version, which did include a rooted hair head sculpt. And the Hot Toys Batman retailed for somewhere between $315 and $400, depending upon which version you bought, including a sculpted hair head sculpt either way. The comparisons are much more significant than described, but today we're gonna keep it simple. Cal Batman versus Cal Batman. Let's take both of these figures out into the real world and see which the public prefer. Guys, I may look different than I just looked in the intro, and that's because I slipped into something a little more comfortable. Plenty of great beach shops here on the boardwalk, and you know what? They had tanks. You know what? You always see me in a tank, I'm wearing a tank. I'm not sure if it's a little too low cut Lindsay. Am I, is this too low cut? Am I showing chest hair? We're good. Okay, so that's a no. She's shaking the camera now. Well, we're going to put this shirt in the backpack. Now we're going to hit the town, get some interviews, and uh, I'm feeling a lot more comfy. So let's do this thing. Which Batman films have you seen? Christian Bale, yes. Okay. Yeah. And the one before that where um, uh, Juice Bug or whatever, the actor from... Oh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your favorite Batman? Christian Bale. Christian Bell. Maybe George Clooney, just because for nostalgia factor, but cinematically... Um, Bale is probably the best actor. Dark Knight, Christian Bale, 100%. I agree. Val Kilmer, wasn't Val Kilmer. he? Wasn't he, he was. Yeah, yeah, okay, now my brain's working. <laughs> have you seen the 2022 Pattinson Batman film? Yes, I have seen it, yeah. Okay. Yes. And you saw it as well? Yes. Yeah, it was great. Would you be interested, since you're a Twilight fan, of seeing the Robert Pattinson Batman film? I think so. <laughs> Are you Team Edward or Team Jacob, though? Team Jacob. And just to reiterate, you have not seen the 2022 Pattinson Batman film, no, right? I have not. Okay, got it. Do you have interest in seeing that film? Uh, now I do, yeah. But it was darker um, and slower. It might have been that, too, the directing of it and kind of the storyline and in the plot, in the characters. Did you like Pattinson as Batman, though? I did like Pattinson as Batman. It was hard to take out, take myself out of viewing him as a Twilight figure, though. I, I don't think he um, embodies what we all think Batman should be like, in a way. The things I want to show you today are from companies called Hot Toys and InArt. Have you ever heard of either of those companies? No, I have not. What do you think they would be? Um, maybe action figures that's a pretty good guess actually like batman toys or other superhero toys or like collectibles um for for those things hot toys and what and in art in art i'm not about hot wheels i, I thought <laughs> i thought the exact i, like, I thought the exact same thing that's hot what wheels. everyone says uh like a toy company yeah toys yeah. or toys? art or action figures something like that comics something like that. so i have two figures in my backpack i want to show you yeah. one of them is from hot toys and one of them is from in art so i just want to kind of get your general reaction and then i'm going to have you guess the price and then get your reaction after i tell you how much these cost is that okay and then try to sell me one no yeah. no <laughs> i don't work for the companies at all so this is the hot toys batman so you can hold this one this is the pattinson batman what are your initial impressions of this figure um i think the face is really well done it looks like it was probably like like, it reminds me of, like, wedding toppers where they're, like, 3D printed. His eyes are scary. <laughs> Ooh. Like, really. In a good way? In a, yeah, I mean, Batman way, I guess. Did you ever have anything like this as a kid yourself? G.I. Joe. Not not any action figures, but okay. the G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, okay. Yeah. How do you think these would compare to, like, a G.I. Joe type figure in terms of detail, accuracy, realism? Oh, much, much better design and um, realism. I was a big Barbie girl, so I feel like <laughs> for me, I look at this and I think that the detailing on it mm. is really cool. Um, I think that it like feels like a good weight and material seems nice. Yeah, it's and, definitely like, very it's detailed. Like, like having, having all of the sharp edges of his uh, gadgets is is useful, like showing them as, as like shiny and sharp, like they could actually really hurt someone. If you were to look at this, do you think this looks like a real person? Yeah, you probably could if you like took a picture of it. You know, those those things they have where they have the, the paper pictures and yeah. stuff. His that, belt wow. is is pretty cool too. Yeah. yeah. With all the little, you know, trinkets on it. You had to predict how much you think this costs. Oh, um, I would think this would cost 
Twenty-eight dollars. Oh, a lot of money. Like Which, expensive. Can I, let me hold <laughs> well, like the Ooh, joints. It is, no, it like is pretty feel, heavy feel too. Feel the joints. Yeah, I, I would say. I'm gonna predict this as a is a is a guy who's never really played with things like this. I <laughs> or collected or collected things like this. <laughs> I I would predict it's worth. 50 bucks. Okay, so this is the Inart Collectibles Batman 160 scale figure. What are just your first impressions of it? Um, the cape is better quality, I think. Um, also, I th his eyes are better quality. I like the material. I mean, the material looks nice, and it's like, you know, it kind of reminds me of like a really put together G.I. Joe. Same is it's the detail. So there's like a lot yeah, more, definitely. there's some detail in the hands and stuff. The detail in the um, armor is more. I think this one's really cool too. I mean, it's very detailed, but as far as if there's a significant difference in both of the action figures, no. I don't see a whole lot of difference, just different accessories and stuff maybe. I think the helmet or like whatever his head thing is, is better proportioned. It doesn't look as like bulbous. I, I like it. I mean, like I said, I like the fact that you can change out. Can you change out like the hand so he can yep. equip the gun? Mm -hmm. Or no, I guess he doesn't use guns, but... He can use the grappling gun, yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like the detail. All the details. You like the details? Yeah. They're very, they're, yeah. They're very so you similar. think they're very similar? Yeah. Very similar. Okay. Yeah. The face looks younger. He looks younger in this one. Okay. Yeah. The padding and stuff looks pretty similar to the last one. This part, um, this, this uh, symbol looks better quality. Mm -hmm. um, like, the other one had... These orange bits, they weren't painted quite well. I mean, the only thing that I would say that this one looks slightly better is maybe like the face structure. On the Hot Toys, okay. Yeah, like, like, like it looks slightly more defined than this one. But then I think this one, the armor looks better than this one. This one looks better quality, I think. On the Hot Toys, you think it's better quality? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, details, I would say about the same. So the other one like had less um, like it was pretty more consistently black or, or grayscale. This one has like some green and a bit more yellow. What about more, do you look more realistic or less realistic than the other one? He looks, to me, less. Less realistic than the Hot Toys. Yes. All the Hot Toys, you saw the inner, and how much do you think each of these two figures would cost individually? I'm gonna guess this one is a little more expensive. The in art one. Yeah. So you would, would you predict a similar price for this one? Yeah. Like yeah. fifty dollars, yeah. around fifty bucks. Yeah, this so. one looks more worn. Like the clothing looks it less does, dark. But that could be the sun, or if they've been outside. No, I mean, I could have just been that they're trying to make it more realistic. I don't know. I had hundred hundred for this. She said like one fifty. Okay, and then sixty for this one. What do yeah. you think? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it looks better quality. Mm -hmm. I wish I bought more of these so I could like. <laughs> you I don't know. Yeah, so I, could. I would guess maybe like. 200 for the other one and like 260 for this one. I'm not I'm not sure because you predicted the other one cost $28 How much do you predict the NR Batman would cost? Marketing wise, I think they would try to be 28 also 28 also this one's about $350 oh shipped God, this serious. one is about $480 shipped. so the in art is more expensive. Well, I'm not shocked that they're expensive. Well, they feel expensive. I'm shocked <laughs> I'm shocked, but I mean again that could just be because I'm not used to you know, I, I don't have a lot of experience with this stuff. So this in our collectibles figure, this one costs about four hundred and seventy-five, four hundred and eighty dollars. This? Uh-huh. So what do you, what are your thoughts on that? I would talk my kids into getting a kite. <laughs> <laughs> Does that change your perception at all of these two figures knowing the prices? Um, no, I think that that's about I mean, I think like if you're a really big fan, that's like you would you would pay that much. Holding them, I like the feel of this one. I like the armor better. Like I said, I like the cape. And I can see, I can see how this one's more expensive. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit heavier. That's and what then I'm the, doing. And then it is a little bit more detailed. But um, as far as significantly more, you like know, significantly better. More, no, I, like they're, they're pretty similar. Would you understand the appeal of people who do want these type of things? Like, because these are probably the most lifelike figures you can probably buy now. Yeah. So if you, do you understand the appeal of that? You, you Could you see that if people wanted to collect these type of figures? Uh, if they wanted to, yes. I don't know how much better you could have this look. They're tight. I, I would like to have one. That, like, it would be cool to have, I mean, it would be cool to own. I wouldn't spend that money for them, but it would it would be fun to have it on my desk. If you were big into these films, could you, see, you understand why people buy them? Oh yeah. I think I'd buy like a weapon or something, like a bat, like a bat. Uh, That'd be cool. Like a one to one prop or something. Yeah, like a like a bat like gun or something. You, you know see what I mean? all you see all these collectors and they collect you know anything and everything. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean people spend 
a lot more money for other things that are collectibles, like little cars. I mean, those or go bags. You just said or, it, or bags. Like those are in the thousands. So yeah, if you were definitely into something like this, then yeah, I don't see why not. You wouldn't yeah. spend, you know. All right, guys, that's a wrap from Hobbit Beach, Delaware. We introduced some awesome, kind strangers to the NR Batman, the Hot Toys Batman, and got their thoughts. It was pretty interesting, pretty eye-opening, seeing some people who don't collect and seeing what they think about these figures that we love. Guys, make sure to click the like button, click the subscribe button down below, and click that notification bell so you're notified when all things 1-6 go live on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Are you recording? <laughs> Knowing this one's... A, a oh, just oh, it's fine. But I gotta make it look natural. I'll just sit here like this. I mean, it does look silly, but... Does it? They're really put together G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah. she broke it. Don't, 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 don't film that. <laughs> so, got our second one. So, this is... really to challenge my memory. <laughs> okay. So, have you seen the 2022 Batman... Let me repeat that, sorry. It gotta be wide. A wide stance. A wide stance is what gets the ladies' attention. It's like a, it's a domina domination. I don't think that's what's gonna draw any ladies. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. I love dogs. There you go. Dogs are great. Dogs are great. So probably because we had the info off, like there we go. Oh, okay. So like if you hit info, it'll it'll give you like less info on the screen basically. Well in my defense, so you didn't tell me that one. Is it recording now? Is it recording now? now? I think so. <laughs>